What up, ladies and gentlemen? Today, we're going to talk a little bit about a little known man called Tony Seba. According to Tony Seba, some call him naive. Many call him a foolish optimist. But Seba has repeatedly, and I mean repeatedly, proven to be right. And his critics have proven themselves to be wrong. We should be listening. I'm sure I've already mentioned it, but the biggest reason for this YouTube channel, for me starting a YouTube channel, was Tony Seba. Tony Seba was laughed at. He was mocked. People derided him. People said he was a ridiculous optimist who had no idea what he was talking about. And this is a compendium of several of my books over the last 10 years, 15 years, and, and, and some analyses. And essentially the summary is that disruptions are happening in all levels, all around the world, all at once. The next 15, 20 years are gonna be the most disruptive in history, bar none. And it's not just disruption. It's what I call phase change disruption. So in my book, Clean Disruption of 2014, I basically published this exact um, slide where I said, over the following 15 years, here's the cost curve of lithium ion batteries. And you know, it, at the time, I mean, folks called me insane. You, Tony Siva, are insane, right? $100 per kilowatt hour by 2023, really? Well, here we are and it just crossed $100 per kilowatt hour, just on the money. But the point is not to be right on the money to the month. The point is more or less to anticipate the disruption. I mean, it's, it doesn't take a genius because cost curves are like gravity. They're like gravity, it will happen. However, what he predicted proved to be correct and everyone else was wrong. So Tony Siba seems to be somebody who probably came from the future because the way this man predicts things is pretty outrageous. And a lot of people think he's crazy. I mean, outright crazy, not not being nice at all, saying very rude, outlandish things. But when he makes his predictions and the time comes to the year when he would say these predictions would come true, they would come true. And this is the part that's shocking. Tony Siba pretty much predicts the outcome of like the cost of energy, uh, batteries, and all, just pretty much how the way of the world is going to be different in the future from the way we've been using energy is going to change drastically. So in 2010, Tony Siba predicted that the price of lithium ion batteries would come down to $100 for uh, the price of creating them. They were at $500 uh, 15 years ago, and he made this prediction and people thought he was ridiculous. But the thing is, is that it actually came true. Siba has made a series of new predictions. And if you look at the Chinese auto market, the largest in the world, um, September, uh, new energy vehicles, which is electric plus plug-in hybrids, were 39% of new vehicles, up from like 2% five years ago, right? So it's happening very quickly. And some folks, even in the industry, are saying that it might be 80% by 2025, not just 2030. Again, my crazy prediction from 2014 was that by 2030, it's over, right? And so why? Because by 2030, there's going to be $5,000. So that car is probably going to cost $5,000. So for purely economic reasons, by 2030, uh, you know, transportation in competitive markets is pretty much over for combustion engines. One more extreme than another. Pretty much saying that the cost it takes to create an electric car would drop drastically the price of the batteries. And it was outrageous for the fact that he even made this prediction to people and it actually came to fruition. One thing that was outrageous also was the price of solar energy. He predicted that it would cost around four to five cents by the year 2020. And he made this prediction about 15 years ago when the price was sitting around 30 cents. And what's even crazier is that the International Energy Agency thought that this prediction was ridiculous and that he was out of line and just basically just pulling numbers out of a hat. And like, you know, like always, it came to fruition again. So maybe this guy is from the future because the way this man is predicting things is just ridiculous. But he himself says it doesn't take a genius to figure this out. He says that cost curves are just predictable. You can see them coming if you follow the trend of Wright's law. So BYD, which is another car company based out of China, which is the pretty much only competitor to Tesla, they make a car which now currently costs about $10,000. And Tony Siba predicted years ago that the cost of making an electric car could come down to around twelve dollars or $11,000. And that did come true. Now, his next prediction, which is blowing people's minds, is that it's going to cost around $5,000 to make that same car because the price of lithium iron batteries continue to drop drastically. Over, right? And so why? Because by 2030, there's going to be $5,000. So that car is probably going to cost $5,000. So for purely economic reasons, by 2030, uh, you know, transportation in competitive markets is pretty much over for combustion engines. Now he's referring, of course, to a small car, say something like a Nissan Micra, a small car. 
This prediction is actually not that extreme. Realistically, there's already cars in China that cost that amount now, 5,000 US dollars. There's already cars that cost that much in China. So how long will it take for us to get those cars from China? That's the question. Tony's saying, well, six years from now, we'll have we'll have those EVs at the current prices China is paying for them. That doesn't seem all that outlandish if you ask me. He says it's then over for fossil fuel cars with combustion engines. 2030, that's it. Basically, that's the end. And I think I agree. Tony's right on this. Now, I know this sounds crazy, but 2030 is the year that it's just finished for internal combustion. But that's not the biggest change to transportation. The biggest change is electric autonomous taxis or transport as a service. Transport as a service will cost one tenth per kilometer of what it costs to own and operate your own car, which is really saying something. Because if you can get a small car that can do 200 miles of range for $5,000, the cost of ownership is extremely low. If the cost to actually use some sort of transport as a service, that may be a uh, that could be a van, that could be a car, it could be any type of vehicle, whatever suits your needs. But if it's one tenth of the cost of ownership, it's very, very cheap. The total cost per kilometer or per mile will be lower than the cost of gasoline. The, the simple own look, just the cost of burning that gasoline. And he pretty much said that it's over for the internal combustion engines, pretty much cars with engines. He's saying that these cars will be a thing of the past by 2030. And of course, it sounds like a big reach, but I think that we should be paying attention, especially for the fact that he's been right so many times over the past 20 years. So why turn your nose up to him now? And what makes it even more crazy is that he was delivering this speech directly in front of the big oil companies, the big sheiks, the people who own gas like around the world. He's telling them directly to their face, hey, you guys, the way that you're running business is going to shift drastically and the way you guys are making money could completely come to a halt. So instead of saying, screw you, Tony Siba, they're actually listening to what he's saying. Instead of being like everyone else who's just like, ah, oh, baloney, that's stupid, that's never gonna happen. They're actually listening to him because his predictions keep coming true. Therefore, instead of saying, screw that, they're actually implementing all of his things that he's saying now. They are turning to electric power for solar energy and for batteries, and they're drastically changing this because if they're making so much money now, they rather not just start losing money in the next few years, they rather capitalize on it. So they're shifting their entire market as of now, and thanks to Tony Siba. So yeah, that pretty much is the future. Coming up soon will be the autonomous cars. It's going to be, as you heard him say, pretty much one-tenth of the cost to jump inside of a car that has no human driver inside of it to take you from point A to point B. And it's going to be ridiculous to even own a car if it can only, if it costs you probably like $3 to get to a location instead of using Uber, which could cost you up to $10 to $12, $13. It's going to drop drastically. And this is going to turn a lot of heads and put a lot more money back in people's pockets. So it could be a no-brainer. But we're just going to have to see how that works out coming in the next future. I would say continue to listen to Tony Siba or do your own research. But from the way it's looking, this guy seems to be right. And I would rather continue to check out what he has to say, in my opinion. Well, another short rant for the day, you guys. Thanks for tuning in and keep showing up for more information about the automotive industry, what's going on with Tesla and big tech. I'll see you guys next time. See you tomorrow.